These kids knew how to get to Sesame Street. On Tuesday, Murphy Fieldhouse hosted the Sesame Street USO Experience 2016 tour. In this year's show, Elmo Grover, the Cookie Monster, joined Katie, a member of a military family, getting ready for a PCS move. A relevant theme for our Fort Meade audience, although it really was the twirling light toys that kept the young one's attention, I think. The Sesame Street USO Experience for Military Families made its debut in July 2008 and has taken its message to more than a half a million troops and military families around the world. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, it's Hispanic Heritage Month. ACS has a new program to help those seeking U.S. citizenship. News from EEO and more. But first, Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center has announced its flu vaccination schedule for this year. Flu shots will be given starting October 21st at Retiree Appreciation Day. The Air Force, Navy, and Marines can get theirs the week of October 24th. Everyone else can also get there starting the week of the 24th in the afternoons from noon to 3.30 and the week of October 31st all day from 8 to 3.30. A couple of reminders, Johns Hopkins subscribers are not eligible. You can go to tricare.mil slash flu for more information. In other news, the 704th Military Intelligence Brigade and the Fort Meade Equal Employment Opportunity Office hosted this year's Hispanic Heritage Month observance Wednesday at the McGill Training Center. This year's program started with a Spanish dance performance by Miss Anna Menendez. Miss Menendez performed several dances before giving the audience a short lesson in flamenco. The results, well, you can see for yourself. This year's guest speaker was Bob Archuleta, a veteran of the 82nd Airborne who now serves as a presidential appointee on the Board of Visitors to the United States Military Academy at West Point. He spoke about the importance of embracing diversity. Hispanic Americans and minorities in general still face challenges every day, and those challenges are being met by individuals who believe in a solid education, hard work, and community involvement that can make a difference in the future of this country. Hispanic Americans are inspired and have been inspiring all minorities to come together and pledge their allegiance to our great nation by being a champion of diversity and for diversity as a core of element uh, in the future of our country. In more news from EEO, October is National Disability Employment Awareness Month. Fort Meade's observance is coming up Wednesday, October 19th at 1130 at Club Meade. This year's guest speaker is Mr. Keith Nolan, an advocate for the deaf, hard of hearing, and the hearing impaired. Nolan participated in the Army ROTC program at California State University Northridge, where he completed the first two levels of the program and was recognized in the top 20% of his class. He led a congressional fight that ultimately resulted in a bill being introduced that proposes a demonstration program for deaf and hard of hearing Americans to serve in the U.S. Air Force. That's coming up October 19th at 1130 at Club Mead. Meanwhile, Army Community Service and the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Office in Baltimore have teamed up to offer military members at Fort Mead and across Maryland assistance in the process. They're offering a seminar Thursday, October 6th at ACS for any DOD ID card holder interested. Pam Anderson from ACS says it's designed to put together the initial package and help beyond. If they are uh, seeking to put a packet together, uh, what, what uh, forms are to be used, uh, if they're in need of a green card, uh, anything of that nature. Um, and basically the process of how to, how to build that packet. Uh, what is the next step afterwards um, in gaining citizenship? I would like to encourage all to attend. I think it's going to be a great event. Uh, we have uh, people from all over coming, uh, from T Patuxent River, Annapolis, Bethesda area, um, here the Fort, local Fort Meade community. Um, I think it's going to be, uh, be a, a rewarding event. Anderson adds that initial interest has been high and that ACS may offer the program on a quarterly basis. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spen. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week. The power of one small action, one conversation, or one phone call can make a difference in the life of a veteran going through a difficult time. For free 24-7 confidential support, call the Veterans Crisis Line or the Military Crisis Line.